There are people across the world today who are hurting. People are being abused and ridiculed because of their race, where they're from, or their religion. But God is bigger than all of that. And what I love about Daniel is that we serve a God who gives hope to those who are persecuted. And so what you're we will be in Ohio. I know as people, sometimes we can be pretty proud. And even though this is something we all struggle with, I, I love the way in the book of Daniel, God writes on the wall to remind a pagan king of who's truly in charge. Cabins on the hillside. A chef shot this Sometimes the world seems like a really scary place. Uh, you don't really know what to expect. Um, I don't think that means that the future is going to be bleak or, or sad. Um, you know, I think always about Daniel in Daniel chapter 3, how the world seemed really scary and the flames were just, you know, all around him. But God showed his providences, was there with him every step of the way. Um, he delivered him and he provided exactly what he needed. Have the FBI responding to us. This is on William Street. As a law enforcement officer, I have seen evil firsthand. <laughs> and I've seen lots of people suffer. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. But as Daniel says in Daniel 12, those who live faithful will have eternal life. And that's the message that we need to hear. Daniel 6, 4, the Bible says that Daniel it, 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 it distinguished himself and that he had an excellent spirit. Emphasizing over the years. I trust that Jesus is the answer to all the problems that we have in this old world. Daniel's vision of the Son of Man gives me a great hope for the future in Him. In a world of trouble, I am so thankful for the church. God has a plan, and in that perfect plan is His kingdom, the church. I love the way that Daniel looks forward to the fulfillment of the kingdom, and I rejoice today for its continued work in this world. For many, the identity of God's people is still an open question. But we believe that God has offered us a better hope for the future in His Word, especially at Fried Hardeman University. We hope to be reminded of how we can become one, all for His glory.